Hey you guys, hey y'all, hey. <laughs> I feel like I haven't done this in so long, okay. Hey you guys, oh my God. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So, my name is Char by the way. I post content three times a week vlogs and home decor so we're getting back into our home decor bag and today's video is going to be a update of the coffee corner situation as you can probably see here we have a bunch of stuff out on the uh countertop and we are just about to you know revamp it and make it look different so i purchased a bunch of stuff from amazon and a couple of things from target that i am going to use to get the vibes started there are still a couple of pieces that i think i want to buy but i want to get everything situated with the things that i have now first and then we'll see what we need to do do later so without further ado i'm going to share with you guys a quick little haul of the things that i purchased for this area all of the items will be in the description box, of course. Uh, well, let me not say of course, because sometimes I leave that, the link area, you know, empty. <laughs> anyway, let's just jump into what I got. We're going to start first with the two items that I purchased from Target. And the first one is going to be the centerpiece of the new coffee corner. And this is basically a marble tray. Uh, I got this off of out of target and it's by the the brand threshold i want to say it was like 25 dollars, if i'm not mistaken uh again the link for this will be in the description box but it's super heavy um and it has these like gold like standing legs or whatever because y'all know my kitchen is black and white for the most part but i sprinkle in some some bronze gold and wood tones throughout so I wanted to switch it up and get something that looks less farmhouse. So this is going to be like the, basically the centerpiece of our coffee corner update. Oh, that thing heavy. And then because there, because it's marble, I didn't want, there was a marble container like this, um, but I figured that would be too much marble. So I bought this one and this is by project 62 it's basically a utensil holder and i'm basically gonna put like the nespresso pods in here and sit it on top either on top or on the side of the nespresso machine then i purchased um uh, more i purchased some updated syrup containers so basically the ones that i have now if you remember are the ones that you just turn over in the spout uh it's supposed to open up and give you your syrup but these don't really work that well because as you can see on this one the straw does not go all the way down and sometimes i can't get the syrup out so i'm i'm going to replace these with these because they actually have like this pump on them so uh being able to pump my syrup out of the jar will be a lot more helpful and also they're larger so i could probably fit a whole container of syrup in this one and then they came with these labels so the labels are basically any syrup you can think about that you might use um, for your coffee. Um, they also have like some blank ones on here where you can just like write down whatever you want it, uh, whatever you want to put if your syrup happens to not be there. These also come with a spout for each individual. Let me see if I can get this open here. Yeah. A spout for each individual um container so that you don't cross contaminate the um uh, flavors into like multiple different jars i'm rambling i feel like i'm rambling <laughs> and then i purchased these cute little black metallic -y looking spoons these are going to be uh kept in the coffee corner one because i'm always dirtying up regular spoons and i feel like if i could use this just take it along with me throughout the day uh it would be easier and i think this came with like six yeah it came in a pack of six 
these next two items, all of this stuff that I'm talking about now is from Amazon. The two things earlier were from Target. These two things are the little um, cute little shot glasses that I have been eyeing for so long but never really pulled the trigger on it. So these are going to be used for, these are going to be used for like my creamer, you know, when I froth my creamer and then the spout is going to allow an easy pour without making a mess as well as maybe one for my, my espresso. And then this is random. I saw this on Janae's channel and I wanted to get myself one. I should have got two. But it's basically a cute little fluted um, coffee mug. And it has this, it's a lid, but you can also use it as a coaster. I thought that was super cute. And it also came with like one of those spoons, but it's in like the silver variety. So, you know, you can obviously stir your coffee in there. Um, also another random item that I bought, oops, sorry y'all, I bought more of these, uh, beer mug, oh no, beer can cups. So these, uh, I have them already, but this one is 18 ounces, whereas the other ones are 16 ounces. And if you remember when I make my protein coffee i usually have to drink it down because i can never fit the whole thing of protein in it so i figured i needed some with a little bit more space i hope y'all can see that it's very bright over here in this corner but uh i will definitely be using these from now on when i'm doing my coffee in the morning and a couple of other random things that i bought ice coffee ice trays that i'm going to use to make coffee cubes um you might have saw in the vlog that will be posted on saturday where well, you haven't seen it yet but the vlog that we posted on saturday you'll see that i tried this with that houdini um ice tray thingy and it worked out okay i probably should have used more uh cubes and not brewed coffee on top because it basically just melted and um it just melted and it was like a moot point. So I got this one. I think I'm going to get one that's even smaller to make like more cubes so that they, um, I can put my protein on top of the iced, the coffee ice. I can't talk y'all. I can put my protein on top of the, the coffee ice and let it gradually melt while I'm drinking it so that it, I can get iced coffee without having to start with, um, hot coffee um and then finally i got myself some sugar-free caramel because i like caramel macchiato and i can't really have sugar i should not have sugar so i figured i needed to get something so that i can um make my caramel macchiatos again all right anyway i oh another random thing that i bought was espresso double espresso pods by nespresso I always go get Nespresso pods, but I always forget to get the double espresso pods. These are like two point. These are two points. Oh my God. Two point. This is not focusing. These are 2.71. No, 2.7 <laughs> ounces. Whatever. You, you get the picture. This is the size of it. And, uh, I figured I needed some of them, especially since I am going to be filling my little tumbler situation with the pods. I feel like I rambled throughout the whole thing. So now we're just going to jump right into creating a new coffee space. So stay tuned.
y'all so here is what we're working with so far i'm just like trying to play around to see what i like best so basically i had i had my nespresso like catty corner in the corner but i feel like that was like a waste of space so i put my nespresso here and i have the tea kettle right there and this just feels a little bit out of place so i don't know what i'm gonna do about that yet um but so far this will be here where we'll just pull our nespresso pods or i can put it here it could go here as well so yeah i like that actually a little bit better so basically we have our tea kettle over here our nespresso machine is here and then we have our tray with i have obviously not filled in the um the canisters with the syrup yet uh, but we have the syrup canisters on here and then we have our two shot glasses up top underneath we have our um, spoon holder thingy and then um, I don't know I think I need something to rest these spoons in I thought that I would have room up here to rest them in I don't even know if I have enough syrup to have three containers on here uh, but that's what we have so far. And then, of course, we'll put our Nespresso pods in there. I also have, um, like, this this coffee. I have two of these. I was looking for a container to put this in so that I could display it in the kitchen um, still. I might have to use that wooden. I might have to continue to use that wooden uh, shelf because I feel like I'm going to need more space um, because we have this tea as well, but the tea can stay in here with the rest of the tea. And then the matcha. Uh, the matcha can stay in here with the rest of the tea as well. Uh, but I'm just going to continue to go and once I finish I will come back and let you guys see what I've done all right y'all so I'm on my phone because my camera was not even charging up so anyway I wanted to come back and do a quick little update on the state of the coffee corner situation so as you can see we have a lot more counter space uh so that will be helpful when it's time for us to prep food etc but i basically sh i think i showed you guys this before i left to put my camera on the charger by the way while my camera was on the charger not charging i was recording a reel of how i situated this so i will definitely insert that in this video but uh so we have our nespresso machine here and we have a little bit of space here i don't know what i would use the space for um and then of course we have our hot water kettle here um i'm going to get a new one because i feel like this one is super old it's like probably got some water damage on it i'm rambling so <laughs> And as you can see, I decided, I figured out a way to fit all of the things that I wanted to fit on top of this cuff or this little marble stand. So I have probably about, I don't know, 20 pods in here. Maybe I'll take it out and count them, but it's not that serious <laughs> for me. Um, and then I have these two shot glasses here and the four can canisters of syrup we have. The caramel is um, not sugar-free, but the salted caramel is, and the, the vanilla and the lavender are uh, not sugar-free. Um, and then I have my frother here, and then underneath I have uh, the little caddy and the spoons. So I obviously have other things that I want to put into the coffee uh, corner and it's good that I do have a little bit of space so I have a little space on this side which I don't think I want to put anything that close to the stove but I have some space over here so I could push this down and um, put oops I can push this down and put the rest of the stuff that I want to keep up here there like I have this coffee that I want to get like glass container to put it in as well as um, brown sugar. I want to put brown sugar on the countertop and I also want to keep some of my honey in, over there as well. So I'm going to have to figure out what I need to do to get that to be a success. I think I can probably find another little long uh, stand, not exactly like this but something similar where i can like 
put my sugar and stuff or i can find something short enough that can fit under here okay so that's it for this video so if you see anything that you liked don't forget to check out the description box for the links for everything because i will obviously be leaving the links to everything down in the description box so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time